Hey folks, what's up? This is Evan from Stock Music Musician. And in this video, I want to teach you how to export stems in Reason. Now I've made a whole like 10 minute long video getting into what the term stems actually means. There's a real technical term for it, but a lot of people use it in a much different way. So in this video, I'm going to teach you three different methods for exporting stems in Reason that will hopefully capture a lot of the different ways people mean the term stems. And then you can just ask the person what exactly they're looking for and kind of use this video as a guide to fill in the blanks. If you want to get started with licensing your music, I do have a free five day music licensing crash course. You can join it with the link below. Now let's learn how to export stems in reason. The first thing I want to say is that you probably either, well, probably the most important thing to do is to make sure that you have the right part of your song selected when you export it. So usually I like to just use the flags here that are the same ones for the loop. You could also scroll all the way to the end of the song and get this E button here, which is the song end, and just drag that to where you want it to be. But I find that my song doesn't always start at zero. Sometimes I'll have like some blank space there, or maybe I'll have a draft, a demo of the song off to the left. So I just like to use the left and the right flags. And I also am always certain to provide a lot of extra space on the right for any reverb tails, echoes, sustains, things like that. So now that you've actually figured out what you are going to be <laughs> exporting, the next thing is to figure out what your stem requirements are. I usually find that when people are talking about the real technical definition of a stem, they mean a bus with all of the instruments that feed into the bus, for example, a vocal bus with all the background vocals, all of those insert effects that were on the individual vocal tracks, and usually they also mean the bus processing that would be on that bus. So another example would be a drum bus. We have to kick the snare, the hi-hats. They're all balanced perfectly. They all have all their individual compression and EQ settings. They all flow into a drum bus. Then there's maybe a bus compressor and a bus EQ on the drum bus, and you would export that sound. That would be what you're trying to capture with a stem frequently. That also, though, begs the question of what about send effects? Because that does not capture send effects. Some people will want the send effects baked in to the stems, in which case you have to use one technique, which I'll show you later on. Other people are okay with either having just all your send effects go to one send effects bus and exporting that as a stem, or they want every individual send effect printed separately. So we'll kind of talk about all of those options, but it's really important to clarify what people want because each of these methods prints something different. It's also important to figure out whether or not they want a master bus effect on your mix. Usually, usually they don't want the, you know, the, master limiter or the master bus compressor or you know a maximizer or anything like that on it usually they don't want that but you need to confirm that again because that will be a different signal flow and that will require muting different things so now that we've talked about figuring out what you need to do let's talk about how you do it so to export a stem in reason you go to file and you go to bounce mixer channels here you'll see that you have every individual channel, but you also have buses. I, I label my buses with a B. If you don't label your buses, then you won't know what's a bus because Reason doesn't have a separate way of handling it. So um, it could look confusing. So just, you know, you would like, if you had a vocal bus, a drum bus, a bass bus, etc., you would just click on those and they would all be rendered uh, after you hit OK. The next thing to figure out though, and this applies to every export just about, is which mixer settings do you want? Sometimes it's all, which means that you're going to include both all of the insert effects, but also any volume and pan automation that you have. Usually I find that people want that. Um, but sometimes 
They really just want the raw synths and audio, and they're going to do all the rest. So your other options are all except for the fader section, which means all the channel settings are applied, but the levels and pan aren't. And then the none, which is basically none of the channel settings. You also have to decide whether or not they should be normalized. Uh, that's almost always no. I've never really seen that. Here is where you get to choose whether or not you are using that E marker and then the start of the song, or if you're using the loop parts, and then you choose where you want to bounce it to. Also, be sure to figure out what format they want. Usually it's a wave as opposed to a knife, but a lot of people can also work with that, and the sample rate and the bit depth. So that's like the simple part of it. But then what about these effects channels? Well, usually they're going to want you to um, export your sends either individually or running to a set FX bus. I've got a reason template that you can download below as well, which has these effects set up to go through a send bus if that's how you're being told to export your stems. So you can download that for free. That's the first method of exporting stems in reason. The second method of exporting stems is what sometimes people want when they say stems is actually they just want every single channel individually without any bus processing, and they're going to balance all your instruments. They're going to balance, you know, the drop, the kick, and the snare, and they're going to put their own bus processing on, or maybe they're even going to put their own individual channel processing on. So in those situations, usually what I do is I would click, like, check all, and then you can uncheck the buses because they don't want the buses. They are asking for the individual channels. They, want, they don't want the sum. They want the parts. You usually also don't necessarily need the master section, but I usually do like, depending on who the person is, to, to export it because that provides sort of a reference mix for them of what you heard if you have rough mixed it. If you haven't rough mixed it, don't bother. And then usually I would also send all of my send effects or render all of my send effects individually. So in this situation, you wouldn't want to use a send effects bus, but you would just give them a copy of your plate, your you know, your reverbs, your echoes, all of that, and they could provide, you know, any processing on that they wanted. In these situations, sometimes they want all of the settings. Sometimes they only want the fader section, though, or they don't want the, right, they only want the fader section, um, all your automation and stuff, or none of your automation. Uh, that's basically what you have to figure out, whether they're mixing it or whether they just want to do, like, mixing it from scratch or whether they kind of just want all the levels to be set or they need to, and maybe they want to add some sugar and spice to it. So that's the second method of exporting stems in reason. And the third method is the biggest pain in the butt, but sometimes people want this instead. So in this version of an export, what I found that some people want is they want to have a finished track or bus with all of the send effects printed on it. So that means that like, if this pad is going to a reverb, that reverb is gonna be baked in to the pad file that they receive. Or if my drum bus was going to a room reverb, when I exported the file, there wouldn't be a separate room reverb send and a separate drum bus send. The reverb would be, the reverb send would be printed into the drum file they got. And to do this, unfortunately, is not that straightforward in Reason or in a lot of DAWs. So the way you would go about doing this is essentially soloing a track. That way, it's the only one that's going to be flowing into all of these effects, sends, and returns. Then what you need to do is go to the rack view and go up to your master section here. And you really need to be sure to bypass any of these rack effects because they almost never want your mastering processing or anything like that applied to your stems when you do it in this method. But double check with them. Maybe they do. They also usually aren't going to want your bus compressor. So turn that off unless they've clarified that they want it. And so now what you do to export this song, instead of doing bounce tracks, you actually do export song or loop as an audio file. And because we've used loop points, you would click that, and then you wanna make sure you have the right format. Or if you're using the song points, you can do export song as audio file, totally fine as well. And what this will do is it will 
basically because the pad is soloed, it will route it through everything. And the only thing that are going to be rendered is the pad. And then that's going to go to the sends and the pad by itself are all going to go out to the master bus. There's going to be no additional effects or processing on the master bus. And then you'll have just the high pads with all of their send effects and insert effects rendered. The thing that sucks about this though is then once you finish the high pads, you turn solo off and then you go to the brake pads and you hit have to render that manually. And then you have to do it for shifting science and then for the Lush 1013. So the more tracks you have, the worse this gets really fast. But some, you know, some people you work with want it that way. And so that's just the break sometimes. Anyway, I hope you found this video really helpful. I hope it taught you a thing or two about exporting stems in Reason. And don't forget to download that free Reason mixing template to get those send bus effects in your chain. And also to join that music licensing crash course because it really can help you get your music out there, get it heard by thousands of people or maybe even more, get you some money in the pocket and just make you feel like you're doing more than just collecting songs on your hard drive. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out this next video.